Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making a new game called Plastic Bottle Ball. We begin today with game level one. Come back in the future as we level up through future iterations of Plastic Bottle Ball. It doesn't take much to make this game, as you can see on the right. Grab some items you have around the house and let's get started. We will make the basic game and then show you how you can even decorate it to dial it in a little bit further. You're gonna start with a plastic bottle and you're gonna cut it roughly in half. You don't have to be precise with your cut, but you do wanna keep both parts of this bottle because we will use them both. Now you wanna grab a magnet. I use a rare earth magnet or a neodymium magnet and you can find these in a lot of different things or you can buy them online. At this point, I'm just gonna lay one inside of the plastic bottle and use some hot glue to put it in place. The first time I tried this, I was using a smaller glue gun and it didn't get too hot, so it was perfect. But this particular glue gun did get hot and later melted the plastic. So I switched up to an indoor adhesive that takes a little bit longer to dry, but actually was much more effective in the long run. Once the glue is set, I put the whole thing on a piece of metal so that the magnet against the plastic will hold it against the metal to get a good seal when it dries. This is the basic game piece, so now all you have to do is find something to use as a ball. At this point, I'm just using a wadded up piece of paper towel, but later I'll show you another option that you can use, and there are many others that you can get creative with. Now we're gonna slide that other piece of the plastic bottle underneath to work as a ball catcher. It actually will serve two purposes. One, to retrieve the ball, but two, you can also use it to add to your scoring. You can simply leave it as is at this point, or do what I did, and get a little extra creative and decorate it. What I'm doing here is marking off on a piece of paper, something that I can use to mask off the outside of the bottle when I paint it, to keep the outside clean and only get paint on the inside. We roll the bottle around so that we get the full circumference of the bottle marked off on the paper. We're gonna then cut the paper down to size and tape it to the outside of the bottle. And there you have it. You can actually now paint the inside of the bottle and then use the magnet to hold it in place against something metal while it dries. I would recommend using a couple of light coats. Now it's time to play ball. All you need to do is put your basket against something metal, which is pretty easy to find in most places, and get ready to go. I mentioned we could get creative with what we use as a ball, and here I have some uncooked beans. These are great for a couple reasons. One, they're cheap. Two, they're easy to get a hold of. And three, it's kind of satisfying to hear that sound as it clicks into place. You can score the game however you want, but what I do is I use the bottom cup as a one-point shot, the top cup as a two-point shot, and if it goes through the top cup and stays in the bottom cup, it's three points. Do you want to ramp up that difficulty a little bit? Well, let's dial it in with a custom ball launcher. All you need are a couple of plastic spoons and a rubber band. We're gonna lay the two spoons, one on top of the other, so they're both facing up, and then just wrap them tightly with the rubber band and slide that rubber band down towards the end. Basically, what you have now is a mini catapult. So, let them fly. Adjust the rules the way you like them, and however it works, it's great. I don't care how they get in the basket. If they bounce off the floor or anything else, I'll still let them count. You can play with the height and the positioning of the cups for added difficulty, but please come back in the future as we level up through additional versions of the plastic bottle ball game. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.